The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, or LSST, will scan the entire sky every week with its 3 billion pixel digital camera. Most people think of astronomy as being this great stately dance of the universe of things moving you know, glacially slowly. In fact, stars blow up in, 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 in fractions of a day. Asteroids move across the sky quite rapidly. Things happen. And so LSST then is an attempt to, to find the things that happen. U of A astronomer Philip Pinto is one of the principals of the project. The Wide Field Imaging Telescope was originally designed by U of A Regents Professor of Astronomy, Roger so here, Angel. Here's the optical layout. Here's this large 8.4 meter diameter mirror. Light comes from the sky, bounces off that mirror, hits a 3.5 meter diameter secondary, hits another 5 meter diameter mirror in the middle, and up goes up to the camera. And the camera Here's a mock-up of the focal plane. The camera will have a silicon detector, by far the largest digital camera around, 3.2 gigapixels. And we take images every 15 seconds. LSST will begin operations in 2013 from a site in Chile. There will be no observers. It's a robotic telescope that will be operated by remote control. And each night it will generate 30,000 gigabytes or 30 terabytes of image data the equivalent of thousands of feature-length films an evening. We have an enormous amount of, of, of data. We badly need their help. We're astronomers. We're not, we're not database people, and we need uh, people to give us as much help as we, they, they can give us in, in manipulating this data. Now Google, the Internet's search engine giant, has joined the project to help organize all the information. We need to be able to store it in a, in a safe way that it, if something goes wrong, we don't lose it. Uh, we need to be able to give people all over the world access to it in different ways. Amateur astronomers and lay people want different kinds of access than professional astronomers. And LSST's relationship with Google goes back to the beginning when the project was first started. There's an enormous number of people at Google who are amateur astronomers, who are interested in astronomy. At the beginning of the project, I advocated for comparing tonight's image with last night's image and letting it fall on the floor because there would be no way you could store that amount of data in perpetuity. And the experts came back and said, oh, don't be so pessimistic. You know, by the time you're going to build this thing, you'll be able to do it. And in fact, they're right. The first one terabyte disk hit the market not too long ago. And once LSST is up and running, Professor Pinto says the 10-year survey will generate one of the largest non-proprietary databases in existence. One could easily imagine taking Google Earth and turning it inside out and asking not, not uh, what does it look like to look in on the Earth from the outside and drill down wherever you like, but in fact to stand on the Earth and look out at the sky and drill outward into the sky. And, and one could easily imagine uh, a, a program like that that would allow you not just to look at the sky, but to then ask, what were all the stars that blew up last night? Show me where their locations are. Show me how far away they are. Uh, where are all the asteroids that, that might possibly in the next 10 years have a probability of hitting the Earth? Now Google is part of a collaboration of 19 universities, national labs, and private foundations involved with LSST. And this latest edition is giving the telescope a lot of exposure. And Google is, is one of the most highly visible companies to anybody who has anything to do with computers, which nowadays is nearly anybody. And so when people see that Google is joining a project, they stand up and take notice. And, and um, so the fact that Google has joined the project has uh, been a great public relations boon to us, but it's also uh, you know, going to be a very much more important technical boon. Um, this is just the kind of stuff that we need to know. For KUAT, I'm Pam White.